Hi guys, this is Don. This is a problem from chapter 7 in the text, and it is uh, a common problem that you'll see on quizzes and probably on the uh, final exam. And it has to do with a proportion problem. And we know this because the problem statement says the EPA claim more than 29 percent, percent being a proportion, uh, have stopped buying a certain product because of environmental concerns. And a random sample of 1,020 customers, you found 40 percent have stopped buying. That's your sample proportion. And at alpha 0.01, do you have enough evidence to support the claim? First thing you have to do, of course, is state the null and the alternative correctly. Back up here in the problem statement, it says the agency claimed more than 29%. Remember, I gave you the little table, and when you've got the statement of more than, that is a greater than simple symbol. And because it's not an equality, that means the claim has to be the alternative, and it's a greater than symbol. The complement of a greater than or more than alternative is less than or equal. And the proportion that we're concerned about is the 29% that the agency said is the proportion. So we look down here and you'll find that this is the null, P is less than or equal to 0 0.09, and the alternative P greater than 0 0.029. One of the things that should tell you, remember the greater than symbol, or the, the symbol in the alternative points to the direction of the tail of the hypothesis test. This greater than symbol points to the right, therefore this is a right tail test. Okay, I'm going to jump down here. We've got a question that gives you three um, graphs, and remember I said it's pointing to the right, the greater than, so that means this graph right here, our z sub zero, our z critical, um, is going to be on the right side of the standard normal curve of zero, so that gives us this right-tailed exclusion area. Okay, how do we get the critical value? Well, you can again get that using StatCrunch. And because this is a quiz, I don't think we have StatCrunch listed here. So I'm going to go to StatCrunch.com and I'm opening StatCrunch and bringing it up. So we've got StatCrunch here, and we want to know what the critical value of Z. Well, we've got an alpha of 0.01. So let's go into Stat, Calculators. This is a normal, and it's a right tail test. So we get the red area on the right side, and our um, alpha is 0.01. Click on Compute, and it gives us our sketch, which looks very much like the one we've already selected, and rounding that p-value, that uh, test statistic is x greater than or equal to 2.33, and that indeed is the answer. Okay, we want to know what the standardized test statistic is, and we can get that by actually running the hypothesis test. Now this is a proportion stat, one sample with summary. And I'm gonna get this other one out of the way, bring it up. We need to know the number of successes. Now we don't have that with us. We know that we, we sampled 1,020 customers and 40% have stopped buying the uh, product. Uh, you can use your calculator. What I do is put my 1020 there, my sample P of 0.40. I'm going to go to data, compute, 
expression, build, and I'm gonna go double click on variable one times variable two. Okay, I'm gonna call that successes. I spell that correctly anyway. And you can see that we've got 408 successes. So I just put that into my dialog box. Observation was 1,020. And now we're going to do the hypothesis test for proportion. Our proportion in the claim was 0.29. And we want a right-hand test. So we click down there greater than our alternatives p greater than 0.29 you notice that the null just says equal 0.29 that's just due to the math of it that if the test is significant for equal 0.29 then it's also significant for everything less than 0.29 anyway we'll click compute and we get our z statistic of 7.74 and we also get a p-value of very small, 0 0.0001. So that, just using the p-value, we can decide to reject the null. But again, if we look at our, let me get that down there, um, rejection region, we can see that 7.74 is way, 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 way to the right out there. So it's definitely in the rejection region uh, for this test. And that is all you have to do to use StatCrunch to solve this normal distribution proportion test. And I, I, while I'm here, I just want to mention, anytime you're working with a proportion a hypothesis test for proportions, you always use the Z test, the normal distribution test. Hope this helps.